这个人真的是哈、哦、，Not up and down 啦<笑>、哦、，One Direction。To the Lim House, long time no see. We've felt that we haven't made a video for a long time.、Uh, we've been busy with the kids, and of course, and all the little what's not the daily routine and all that. But today we are back for a video, and this video it's for kids or for parents out there because we are going to revamp our. Duck Tick Kitchen. We have Winnie with us. Say hi. Hello. He's my Yuan、uh, Gong, <laughs> my worker. Assistant. <laughs> yeah. And、uh, I was so surprised she took out this thing to do her the screwing because、um, I'm never a, this I'm never this kind of person where I handle all this. So let me give you an introduction about our Duck Tick Kitchen. So our Duck Tick Kitchen,、uh, we bought this as a As a birthday present for Jonas when he was two years old, so now he's four years old. So as you can see, our Dukti kitchen looks a little different from、uh, the usual Dukti kitchen because we do some advancement on it. You can see, like we spray paint the the tap and the sink, but it's so chewy now because you see everything comes peeling off. So we wanted this to have a rustic look. That's why we added like. Buttons here. We also have a coat of friendship paint here. So this friendship paint is like kids friendly paint lah. So today we're going to revamp the whole thing to have a new look again, so that the kids will find it like you know fun and fresher, and hope that it fits our interior. So stay tuned to see what color we pick up for the new Dukti kitchen. So here are the things you need for the IKEA Dukti、uh, makeover. So with、uh, Lay everything here so that you can just watch this video and go ahead to get these materials. So first, we have this roll of rattan. This is the I would call I call it the hash rattan lah, which is、um, you know like a cross one. And these are the leftovers from our in our wardrobe. If you watch our house tour, you will know that.、Um, We have this、uh, rattan for our wardrobe, and these are the leftover from our,、uh, our contractor passed back to us. So we just cut using a scissors, and then we use hot glue to glue it on the windows and the oven. Okay. So we also have these two、uh, items, which is from Dimples Co. So、uh, these wood handles, they sell these wood handles. They are not sure、uh, what is the distance to get. You can just grab straight from Dimples Co. They sell these、uh, wooden handles, and they also have this very cute、um, stove. So the default IKEA one is the lighted up one, and then.、Um, It's nice. It has this lighted up function, but I really like this rustic one from Petit Abote, which is、um, an Australian brand. So、uh, Dimples Co is the exclusive distributor for this, and it's really made of really sturdy material. And you can see that the it's it has this sheen on it, which、uh, it, which is quite nice、uh, and made of very quality birch wood. So I really like the quality of this, and then. What you need, very important, are very good brushes. We have these two brush. We use these two brushes. This is just an ordinary paint brush, a slightly bigger one. Oh, a slightly bigger one with which has a a bit more. Not the you know the very micro one, but this is a size twelve. Okay, and we also have this paint brush, uh, which is a.、Uh, Like the one you paint on the wall, lah. So this is for larger surface, and this is for like the little corners and、uh, you know at the sides. Okay, and we also need、uh, sandpaper, very important because、uh, for us,、uh, our Dukti kitchen is this is the second makeover. So、um, the first make、uh, the first the first round of makeover we have already painted. So a lot of times we need to send away stuff, like we send away the basin.、Uh, Paint one layer of the basin paint, and of course these three very important tools. We have the scissors, the scissors we cut the rattan and other、uh, little things, 
and then we have the allen key and then we have screwdriver you can also use an electric one which makes things a little faster so so if you don't have the manual you can actually check out our ikea's website for the manual i think you can download the soft copy and then you can decide where to clean and what to you know which area to turn it <laughs> okay next we will move on to pin so these are the pin that we use for our ikea duplic makeover if you look at uh, the first edition of our duplic kitchen we use friendship pin for the body of the kitchen which is a slightly beige color so this time round we wanted to try something new and we wanted this sage color so we went to find and we uh, went ahead with this uh, gold gash paint so this gold gash paint is what we got and it's slightly cheaper than French paint uh, but uh, the use while we were painting the the wood surfaces we realized that there are a lot more bubbles and it's harder to make a smoother surface so um, as compared to friendship and uh, I mean if you put side by side comparison friendship and uh, gold gash I think both the outcome is the same you still get a very very pretty thick kitchen but this one has a little bit more bubble so you need a little more technique to paint it but of course gash has a wider range of colors and it's both are very safe and uh, I would prefer friendship in, in terms of the, the execution so um, you can decide which one you want to get so these are the spray paint that we use so the first time round uh, we use this white pylox paint so it, we wanted it quite we wanted the tap and basin white color but with we realized that with just one play the the things the little there are already chippings of this white paint so we went to research more and Patrick bought this um, this Resolium paint. So this one is uh, special as in it has paint and primer in uh, one bottle. So basically we paint this metallic gold color. We strip off the white one and paint this, uh, spray this, spray another coat of this. And then we also bought this um, ultra cover which acts like a sealant. It's a matte clear one. So this too, we, we find that this is the perfect combination for, for uh, the basin and the tap. So the next two items you will need is plastic sheets. We use plastic sheets to cover. You can also use newspaper. And then we reuse these boxes. This is a carton boxes from the delivery. We reuse them to actually punch hole to set, do, use this as a, as a base to spray paint the uh, tap. So basically you can reuse boxes and uh, yeah, you also need plastic sheets. So we do it outside the place so that it's not so, you know, we don't uh, fill the house with uh, the paint smell. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what color do you want to paint your kitchen set? Uh, this time around I want to have a, like a darker green. And then I, I, I don't want I don't want the wooden I, I want the wooden huh? surface to be just on the countertop. Mm. And then yeah. we just need to dismantle the top portion or we'll keep the wood as it is. Huh? Okay, 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 okay. Mm. It's the IKEA yeah, yeah. Duktik Professional. So yep. anybody out there who wants to redo your Ikea Tukti kitchen, please go find me. My she assistant. Substandard, <laughs> <laughs> substandard. You see how we used to paint? <laughs> so look, look at the brush strokes. Really anyhow do and it's like them super substandard. So this time round, we are determined to make it nice. Stay tuned for the transformation. So this time, we are going with this uh, brand of brand called Gush. We chose this light sage colour. So we're gonna give it a go. Hey, not bad ah. Okay, good job, Patrick. Now, I'll take you. He's smart, I think. He's not, he's not.
<laughs> so this is the sage color. Not up and down. <laughs> One direction. So uh, currently we are starting the paint process. Uh, we are going to share some tips on uh, how. Uh, we need to share some tips on how to paint. So basically, as a start, when you open the thing, you just need to paint one direction, so that you know the paint lines are like unison uh, or rather consistent, right? Yeah, correct. And of course, when you have your kitchen set, when you um, trying to fix them, right? You need to identify which are the plank that you want to uh, paint so that you can actually sticker them or something so that it's easier for you to put it back to fix it back later on yeah why one direction uh, oh. that you do opposite direction uh, uh, Actually, I really don't know why. Le. You can see it is a little bit. Why? I think it's the paint. Eh. You can see. You still have one direction. Wa. Yeah, at least it's not the same. It's not the same. Okay, then you can see it. Okay. 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 So for the parts of the IKEA kitchen, we actually went to IKEA to get new parts. So for this tap, we actually got the tap from IKEA and then we are going to repaint it. So you can get, go to the information counter and look for the parts that you actually need. So this is my Shifu Pingda. He's currently helping me to send away the, pet, the very ugly spray paint that we did before. So we're going to send away then of course we're going to spray this uh, white also. So for this sink, it's not inside the parts that, are, that we can get from IKEA, so no choice. We have to send it away and then uh, redo it. So right now we're going to spray paint the tap of the IKEA kitchen. One tip is to shape well and then um, this is hard work because every time you spray you have to wait for 10 minutes for each layer to dry. You need to go by layers by layers. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it. So you need to spray like that. So you need to move in the direction this way and you need to wait for it to dry before spraying the next layer.
So right now, we are cutting rattan for the little oven opening and the door opening for the cabinet there. So, Mimi is going to help cut. Okay, so this little piece is going to go up on the oven. Nice! It's chill, let's go. It's just a little bit. No. Oh my goodness, look. Look. This is the final look of our kitchen. I think it looks really good, especially after changing up the basin and the gold tap. And then we also spray paint the gold rod here. So we have all the play pretend toys from Earn Stories. So uh, a lot of little little play pretend sauces like mayonnaise and milk. And we also have this uh, workable coffee machine and a mixer stand here. We try to get toys that complements the kitchen look now with the rattan and the sage. And then we have all things wooden so it looks very pretty as a whole. So being a kid now is really like very fortunate because they get toys like that that are really cute and realistic as well. Like this coffee machine, you can actually have a toggle here and there's even capsules, little capsules where you can just drop in here. And then, you know, you can make the coffee. It's like very, it's like automated and you have desserts like that with very delicate and um, you know, they really look realistic and cute. So we try to put this all together in this kitchen so that the play becomes really dramatic and realistic. So for those who are looking to enhance your own uh, IKEA Dukti kitchen, we didn't do this but you can also uh, get contact paper to dress up the kitchen countertop. That's what we saw from many Pinterest and other um, US mummies, they, they do this. So you can also do a backsplash like Winnie, Winnie did a rattan backsplash or you can also do many DIYs like some of them they put um, a cordless phone here at the side they, stick, they actually stick it to this wall here or you can put cash registry toy or even calculators here to actually enhance the play so one thing we add is also this uh, magnetic decal that we got from Shop Wireless. If you watch our home tour video, Winnie's home tour video, you will also see this on her Dukti kitchen. So this one is actually interchangeable which is pretty smart. So you can actually let your kids play pretend there's like cafe and then grocery store and then uh, many different types of variation and these are designed by a local designer Christian she's a fellow mother so she designed all these uh, in collaboration with Shop Viola. So we've come to the end of this video we hope it helps you if you are going to make over IKEA Tuktik Kitchen for your kid uh, we made one when Jonas was two years old and he really enjoyed this and this time round we got we, our friends over to help give tips and we hope you really enjoy this video and if you have any feedback please comment below and we hope that you enjoy this video see you next time